Okay. Take a deep breath in. And on the outward breath, close your eyes. That's it. As you breathe in, just imagine breathing in a feeling of calm and relaxation. And as you exhale, just allow any feelings of stress, tension or worry to feel like it's leaving your body in your outward breath, enabling you to feel deeper and deeper relaxed. That's it. I want you to scan your body for any clues of tension. Maybe around your eyelids, forehead, jaw, or mouth. So as you breathe in, become aware of any tension. But I want you to imagine that you're breathing in a warm feeling of resourcefulness. And that as you exhale, that tension melts away and you can feel that tension, stress or worries leaving your body in your outward breath. Enabling you to feel deeper and deeper relaxed. That's right. As your physical body relaxes, I want you to imagine that your imagination is becoming awakened. And I want you to use the power of your imagination to imagine you're far away, about to start a long trek. Remember the clothes you were wearing back then for that long trek. Maybe you can remember the skies, the terrain. I want you to get a sense that sometimes valuable, worthwhile things require effort, require adversity, require a physical challenge. And I want you to use the power of your imagination to imagine that you're starting that trek. To feel your body move. And to quickly find a rhythm in your breathing. Not breathing from your chest, but a slow, deep rhythm there in your diaphragm. And I want you to get a sense that the walking itself is a metaphor for making progress. You're making progress towards a future that is impactful in some way. So breathe in and breathe out and notice that you're able to really connect with the idea of being there on that trek in countryside near mountains, far away with fresh air. And I want you to get a growing sense of feeling safe, relaxed, and at peace. And as you continue to walk and feel that safe feeling of progress, I want you to get a sense that in every area of your life you have standards. These standards can be reduced or raised. And I want you to think of your current standards when it comes to food and physical movement. To get a sense that what you're eating isn't because it's necessary. It's because at some level you feel that it's protecting you. So as you breathe in and breathe out, I want you to open your mind to a new idea. An idea that the higher you raise your standards, the more worthy and confident you become. And the more worthy and confident you become, the more you're able to protect yourself through that confidence and the choices you make. Get a sense that you're walking at a higher gradient now, you're climbing upwards. Maybe beautiful trails and treks, hiking up into the mountains. 
And I want you to get a sense that in the same way that you can climb up a mountain or raise a gradient, you can also raise your standards. And I want you to get a sense that with each food choice you make, you have the ability to feel a deep sense of empowerment and control over your health and well-being. That you have the ability to nourish your body with foods that support your vitality. I want you to imagine that doing just simple things like drinking more water can have a positive impact. And that as you choose more nutritious foods, that has an impact on your energy levels and mood. That you have the ability to feel the increased vitality and mental clarity that comes from fueling your body with wholesome, nutrient-dense meals. And I want you to imagine on this long trek, at some point you needed to sleep and rest and relax before the next stage of the journey. And I want you to imagine that you're feeling rested, safe and secure, perhaps on a bed, where you're allowing your body to rejuvenate and recuperate before the next phase of walking. Just feel how relaxed and heavy your arms and legs limp loose heavy there in that bed as you open your mind to powerful suggestions that can enable you to raise your standards. Because you can see each meal as an opportunity to honor and respect your body. That you can choose foods that align with your values and contribute to your overall well-being. Feeling that you deserve to feel your best. That you can embrace the joy of exploring new flavors and incorporating a variety of colorful vegetables. Having that mission of eating the rainbow, whether it's vegetables or fruits, but colors that contain amazing nutrition. And you can discover the pleasure of nourishing your body with foods that are both delicious and nutritious. Imagine it's the next morning and you're doing another day of hiking. And again, as you make progress on the hike, you feel like you're making progress and raising your standards. Recognize that each healthy food choice is an act of self-care and self-love. What if you're able to give yourself the care and love that maybe you didn't get as a child through the food choices that you're making now? As you prioritize your well-being, you strengthen your sense of worthiness and deepen your connection to yourself. Keep on imagining you're walking higher and higher up. Maybe you're at the same level of clouds or you can see them not far ahead. But I want you to tune into your body's natural hunger and fullness cues. Allowing yourself to eat mindfully and in moderation. That you can trust your body's wisdom in knowing when and what to eat. To enable you to feel more confident, more worthy as you become healthier. I want you to imagine that somewhere high up in these mountains is a beautiful temple, an ancient temple. And I want you to imagine your body as a temple, deserving of the highest quality nourishment. And I want you to visualize the nutrients from wholesome foods flowing through your body, revitalizing every cell and promoting vibrant health. That as you feel stressed, as stress comes to everyone, that the default thing that you think of is to drink water, believing that water can wash away your stress from the inside. Every glass of water can dilute the stress, make the stress feel like it's moving from yourself into your bladder and will leave your body the next time you go to the toilet. And if, even for a few months, 
water was the primary way that you dealt with stress, you would notice better choices in other areas of your life. Feeling able to cope. Feeling that as you raise your standards, you become more and more confident, more and more worthy, and that is what's keeping you safe and protected. And I want you to imagine, days go by and now you're at a precipice, about to see the ancient city of Machu Picchu. Maybe it's around sunrise or maybe it's later in the day, but I want you to imagine seeing the site for the very first time, feeling a sense of accomplishment, wonder, a feeling of profound connection and change. And while you're here, I want you to imagine that perhaps this is one of the highest cities in the world what it would be like for you to live at the highest standards that are possible for you. Standards about food and your physical body. And I want you to accept that as you make conscious choices to fuel your body with nourishing foods, positive changes just naturally happen. Enabling you to feel better about yourself. That good food choices feed a growing sense of self-acceptance and appreciation for the care that you're giving to your body. And I want you to embrace the power of lean protein in supporting your journey into the best version of yourself. Maybe you're thinking of chicken or fish or other lean protein foods, but I want you to imagine that by choosing choosing these protein-rich foods You're giving yourself energy and training your body to evolve its composition. And that itself enhances your overall well-being. I want you to imagine somewhere in one of these ancient buildings in Machu Picchu is a huge buffet of food. I want you to get a sense that everything is there in that. I want you to imagine there's processed foods, but also natural foods. And I want you to get a sense that you are drawn towards the natural foods. The vegetables, the proteins, that somehow that feels like it's evolving your life forward. Back then, hundreds of years ago, there were no supermarkets. The only foods for the the ancient civilization was natural foods. Foods they grew or foods they foraged or hunted for. And I want you to get a sense that humans have the ability to thrive with natural foods. And the more natural single ingredient foods you eat the more you are raising your standards and as you raise your standards you are unlocking feelings of confidence feelings of worthiness and feelings of self-acceptance that you yourself are giving you the love that you were hoping other people were going to give to you and for some reason I want you to imagine in one of these ancient buildings seems to be a screen they had no technology back then but I want you to imagine there is a screen showing you your future a future that by raising your standards your confidence and worthiness grows and you're able to protect yourself through the choices you make not the choices other people make but the choices you make that making choices is empowerment and empowerment is safety and that by making the best choices for you that is how you keep yourself safe and I want you to see yourself perhaps a year or two years from now a different body composition but you can tell from your facial expressions the clothes you're wearing, your posture there is high levels of 
self-esteem, confidence and worthiness. And I want you to see yourself perhaps in a relationship that is fulfilling your needs. There is a feeling of positivity, a feeling of synergy, seeing yourself like you're someone else, but see yourself slim, healthy, see yourself deserving and worthwhile. And when you can get a glimpse of a future that seems aspirational, but also believable, let me know by nodding your head. And I want you to step into that future version of you, just feeling what it feels like to have a different body shape, to be living at high standards, to feeling that you are in a relationship that meets your needs and that you are worthy and deserving, but also you're contributing so much to that relationship as well. It's not just what you're getting, it's what you're giving, and it feels balanced. Leave that screen, feel yourself wandering around Machu Picchu with a feeling of a profound sense of change, a profound sense that why would you do anything else than continue to raise your standards? And it's impossible to raise your standards when it comes to exercise and food without accidentally raising your standards in other areas too. You get a growing sense that what starts off with just drinking more water, having meals instead of snacks, having more protein and less processed foods, may be the start of a snowball effect that takes your life in a profound positive direction. But we don't need to walk back down the mountain. Just take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose, tapping into this feeling of resourcefulness and high standards and now feeling like you're back in your body in the present, listening to my voice. That's it, feeling connected with the present but also feeling that there is a desire to make evolutionary change. Tiny changes and each tiny change you make will make you feel good and by feeling good with a tiny change, you'll have a desire to make other tiny changes. Tiny changes that become habits, habits that become natural parts of standards, as your life moves towards you being safe by being at your best. All of this is just thoughts within thoughts, ideas within ideas, dreams within dreams, as you return to the present feeling resourceful, motivated, with a desire to raise your standards as I now count from 1 to 10 to awaken you starting to count 1, 2, 3, waking up 4, 5, 6, more alert 7, 8, open your eyes, open your eyes 9, 10, wide awake wide awake wide awake <laughs>